Will we see Buster Moon and his small group of friends again on the big screen? Well, in a recent interview, Chris, the founder of Illumination Entertainment, disclosed that a sequel is in the works, one that will transport us to an entirely new world. The Sings franchise distinctive blend of humor, enduring tales, and a stunning assortment of animated singing animals helped it to become a global success. The film shows the hopes, dreams, and achievements of anthropomorphic animals in a musical environment all interwoven with an amazing array of pop song covers. Sing 2 not only received favorable reviews but also had a significant impact on the streaming industry by building on the strong foundation set by its predecessor. With over 80 million views on Netflix, the Illumination founder and CEO Chris disclosed that it was the third most streamed film in the US in 2022. That may not always translate into a huge box office hit, but it does indicate that despite unanticipated real-world circumstances, there's still strong demand from fans for Sing. Thus, the project is progressing slowly. Are you okay? Oh, yes, I'm fine. Thank you. How are you? Sing 3 is currently being developed. Since animated movies require a lot of time to develop and make, Sing 3 might not be released for another five years after Sing 2. However, Illumination Entertainment will need to formally confirm the release date, so fans of the franchise will have to wait. Fans are excitedly waiting any updates on the movie's plot and cast as word of a third installment in the series grows. Although Chris, the founder of Illumination Entertainment, has stated that the third installment is in deep development, Details regarding the plot and the movie's premiere date are still unknown. Considering how well received the first two films were, it is probable that the third entry will focus on the entertainment industry and how music can unite people. Buster Moon, the determined koala who launched the franchise with his singing competition, is probably going to be a major character in the upcoming movie. It's also anticipated that Buster's protégés, Johnny and Mina, who both achieved success in the music business under his tutelage will make a comeback. On the other hand, it's also possible that some cast members won't be present. Owing to their other obligations, Scarlett Johansson and Reese Witherspoon, who provided the voices of the characters in Sing 2, might not be able to reprise their roles. As they take on new challenges on their musical careers, actors Taryn Egerton and Tori Kelly, who played Johnny and Mina respectively, may be in the spotlight. Buster Moon, the de facto protagonist of both ensemble movies, is the most obvious obvious candidate to make a comeback. His cunning nature and ambitions in show business might take him to a new city where he could launch a new production. As a result, we can anticipate seeing Matthew McConaughey, who expressed his eagerness to play the role once more. He also sent a sarcastic message to the director requesting that his character sing, hum, dance, and whistle this time. He is the main character after all. In the interview, Matthew McConaughey revealed that he typically felt sacred about the roles he had played in the past, which prevented him from taking on new roles. However, he thinks Buster Moon is scalable and is drawn to the bigger risks that may accompany each film. He expressed interest in taking on the role once more to finish the trilogy, and maybe even end the trilogy with Buster Moon taking the stage himself. That would be very poetic, wouldn't it? At least for the third installment, let's just hope he sings. Though it's unclear if Garth has paid attention to Matthew or the fans who believe Buster should have his moment on stage, it's possible that a sequel to Sing 3 will be produced given the obvious interest in the film from fans of the original film. It's clear from Sing 2 that these endearing anthropomorphic performers have more adventures ahead of them. Buster and his friends are awe-inspiring by the movie's conclusion. All that they intended to accomplish was to put on a show in Red Shore City. Thus, they board a bus to return home, only to have Suki, dressed exactly like Buster, show up at the bus's side and try to draw their attention. She is there to let the group, which at this point only consists of Portia and Nushi, know that the Majestic is considering having them perform live. The group appears to be here to stay in Red Shore City for the foreseeable future, which may indicate where the franchise will go in the future. Suka confirmed that the Majestic was interested in singing Buster Moon's group and hosting their show at their theater, which brought the sequel to a happy conclusion. Now that Sing 3 has officially been confirmed, the three-part series could delve deeper into the fallout from the group's success and tell the full tale of how the Majestic attempts to take advantage of their abilities. But a story set years after Sing 2's happy ending would make for a more intriguing narrative that Sing 3 could investigate. It's possible that Buster and 
the other members of the core group broke up for an undisclosed reason, which would have allowed for a sequel where the group would reunite for a different performance. An additional suggestion would be to announce a renowned international singing competition. Buster would view this as the ideal chance to present his group's talent to a worldwide audience. Performers from all around the world are fighting for a top spot, but the competition is tough. Group dynamics are put to the test as they get ready for the performance, pushing them to face their fears and strengthen their bonds. When all is said and done, they will have to unite to demonstrate their superiority. Or Sing 3 might take a totally different turn and show us what happened to the group after their triumph or perhaps even follow them on an underwater or time traveling expedition. I won't let you down, sir. Better not or I'll throw you off the roof. There is always a chance that a follow-up will take the trope on the road and allow them to perform for a larger audience than we have ever had. In addition, Mina and Alfonso are developing a romantic relationship. The two characters in Sing 2 are introduced, but they don't really interact. They actually might go on a few dates in a follow-up. In the world of Sing, anything is possible, and there are many other well-known vocalists who are eager to join the cast. A different course for Sing 3 would be to deal with Jimmy Crystal's situation. Mr. Crystal immediately modifies his tone upon discovering that the show is a huge success, following his escape from his cage and his attempt to murder Buster Moon. Crystal takes credit for everything and goes on stage right away, enjoying the cheers that are distinctly not directed at him. The problem is that he turns around and discovers that everyone has left the stage, including his daughter Portia. With thunderous applause, the assembly erupts, leaving Crystal with an egg on his face. After being humiliated and having his true nature exposed, Mr. Crystal is ultimately taken into custody for trying to kill Buster Moon. These accusations will probably also cover his actions on the rooftop earlier in the film when he attempted to throw Moon off to his death. He might come back to add some spice to things. Additionally, his return could influence Buster and his group's future actions. We'd also like to know what happened with Mike the Mouse. Some claim that Mike the Mouse's gambling addiction is the reason he vanished from Sing 2. There are rumors that he lost everything, including his home, money, and even his cherished fedora after getting too involved with the gambling bears. Some claim that he just wasn't a good fit for the sequel's plot. Some have even gone as far as to say the bears ate him. Mike's return to Sing 3 is still uncertain as of right now, but we'll let you know as soon as we have the confirmation. Regarding the release date, it's hard to predict with certainty when the film will appear in theaters. It's possible that fans will have to wait a few years before the next entry in the franchise is released due to the lengthy production calendar of animated films. We can infer some reasonable release dates for Sing 3 based on the previous movies, even though an official date has not yet been disclosed. Releases of Sing and Sing 2 occurred in 2016 and 2021 respectively. This trend suggests that Sing 3 might make its theatrical debut in 2026, though this is still speculation. Sing 3 may arrive sooner than expected though as Sing 2 was delayed due to the pandemic. Fans are naturally excitedly awaiting news about Sing 3 since there's so much to look forward to. While we wait for official announcements, we can't help but wonder what exciting things this cherished animated series might be getting into. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.